Welcome back everybody to Subnautica. I have a grand plan for today. I actually planned this one out, which is very, very rare. We are, first I'm going to listen to this radio message that has been playing for a while. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Mm. Interesting. So I have spent quite a bit of time farming. I've spent quite a bit of time. Um, I, I did spend some time. I built a base. We're going to go check that out. Welcome aboard, Captain. That I have moved my beacon to. Where is it? There it is. Now, I got a great tip for, in the last video in the comments saying to build my base in, like, a shallowish area near, like, the Red Kelp. Unfortunately, I had already built my base when I read that comment when that video came out. Um, but also, not unfortunately, luckily, I actually did just that anyway. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's in the exact location, but I wanted it to be shallow enough that I could put solar panels on top. And I wanted it to be near a bunch of resources and not too far away from the actual life pod. So I went ahead and I built a little base for myself. Nothing too fancy. I don't have it like completely flushed out. And I don't want it to get too big because I hear that it can be like dangerous if it gets too big. So I built just a couple like four rooms. I, two solar panels somehow manages to like take care of everything. Um, I went ahead and built the moon pool so I could dock the sea moth and get it charging Welcome aboard, Captain. and it was super cool put my poster up and i've done a, i've done a lot of farming every so often it's really cool fish will will go through this pod kind of kind of funny because I, I knew bushes and stuff could do with that but i didn't realize that it could so i set up some lockers got some good resources going in it I'm probably gonna need more lockers. As you can see, I've done a, I've done a lot of farming, um, and I actually have everything I need for the vehicle. Which one is it? The the vehicle modification station, I think. Not modification station. The upgrade. Yes. Computer chip and copper wire. So I want to go ahead and I want to build that now. Need the computer chip and I need copper wire. There we go. I gotta remember all my controls suddenly. My brain just like stopped working. I'm not sure where to put this. Does it matter or does it have to go in like a, a specific spot? I saw it turn green for a hot second. Does, doesn't it have to go in the moon pool or am I crazy? Oh, I don't want it against the wall, do I? Is it supposed to be against the wall? I thought it, I thought it could go like on the edge. Is it supposed to go against the wall? I have no idea. I'm probably just going to place it and save it, call it good. Is it supposed to go in another room? Do I have to put it like in here? No, I think it has to go in the moon pool room, right? It's been way too long doing this. I'm just going to do it. Oh, it goes in. That's cool. Vehicle upgrade console. Nice. So now I have all of those cool... Oh, I really... I want that. Energy efficient module. Hull reinforcement. Depth module 1. Solar charge. Perimeter defense. That's... I have no idea how to... I'm, I'm sure I get it from that... Like, green crystal. Torpedo. I need... Aerogel, I have no idea how to make that. Sonar. Ooh, yeah. That's gonna be fun. 
crystalline sulfur that's going to be fun to get kyanite all good things these are all great these are awesome i can probably go ahead and make this storage module and why not right i just need one lithium take a lithium. I'll, I'll make a storage thing for my sea moth. Put water and stuff in it. That'd probably be useful, right? Sweet. Now I can just add that in, right? right? I don't know where that went, but I don't know. Is it this? I'll figure it out. But now I have storage, apparently. What does it mean vehicle upgrade? Oh, I can like change the color and stuff? Is that? Oh, that's so cool. I don't know if I want to rename the Seamoth. I can change the interior. Oh, that's cool. That's super cool super cool I kind of like orange orange is like my thing a little bit the base color I still want to be able to see it so I don't know if I want to go like crazy with it or not This is so cool. I didn't even know I could change, like, the interior and everything. What if I just make it orange, too? Done. Can I walk away now? Except that doesn't look very orange. Do I have to take it out for it to look, like, orange? It looks, like, brown. Oh, did I not save it? Nah. I mean, it looks... It looks brown. It doesn't look orange. The inside looks kind of orange, but the outside definitely doesn't. Yeah, I can't, can't stand for, for brown. I'm not gonna... Can't do that. Let's see. Not the base. It was the stripe. Let me see. I want to see what it looks like. It's not a very bright color. I wish it was brighter, because it just kind of seems dark. Even the yellow is not very, like, yellow. I'm just going to go with, like, blue. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave it Seamoth. I kind of like the orange interior, so I'm going to leave it like that. That's not the worst. Okay. I have also farmed the necessary ingredients. Let me drink water really quick. For the Cyclops. Now, I want to wait to do the Cyclops until... Because I want to go and explore the ship. And then we're going to go and we're going to make the Cyclops. Because um, I don't need the Cyclops if I'm going to go to the ship. So I might as well do that later. But I, have, I made sure that I went through and I got everything I needed for that as well. Um, I don't think I'm going to need a habitat builder to go to the ship. I could probably do with more water though. Wait, that's what I need. I need salt. Salt. And... Watch me not remember how to make bleach suddenly. Table coral. Not table coral, two coral. Make a little bit anyway. So after I make some water, we are going to go to the ship because I have my laser cutter now. I did make that. I went ahead and made that off video just because it was really simple, really easy. Um, I got the laser cutter, so that's going to be very useful. I think I should have everything I need to go in all of the areas of the ship now. 
Um, I think I have my fire extinguishers at the pod, so I might stop by my, the pod. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to stop by the pod just to grab a couple of fire extinguishers because we're probably going to need that. That looks kind of ugly, but I'm going to I'm gonna live it. I like the orange, and I'm, I'm, I'm working with the blue. I don't absolutely hate it. So we're going to dig it. And I have another message. I don't have anything else in the other rooms of the base that I have built. That's why I didn't kind of go through and show it. I have the window, but I'll, I'll probably show that off when I come back. I want to go ahead and get started and I want to go to the ship so that way we can kind of explore. I, If I remember correctly, the prawn suit fragments are there at the ship, which is going to be very useful later on if we want to go really deep. I think because the prawn suit is the one that's capable of going to like extreme depths. Um, now, watching other people use the prawn suit, it was never, like, my favorite thing. Of course, the sea moth and the cyclops were probably, like, my favorite things to see. But, with that being said, it's going to be very useful to have... 100? 100? Okay. I might as well bring all three, right? Right. Yeah, I'm going to do it. It's going to be very useful to have the prawn suit. It's going to be necessary. This is Pot 7. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. Seven out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Hmm. We have a lot of life pods to explore. If we have time, I want to try to go to some of... Oh, there it is. Nice. I'll put a health kit in there. Why not? Cool. I wish I had more water and stuff to put in it, but I think that'll be okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. Cool, cool. Um, I gotta remember where the ship is now. There we go. All right, let's just go for it. Sorry, fish. Are you on the way? No, you're like way out there. Sunk to ocean bed. How far down are you? Oh, you're only 250 meters. I could get there with my sea moth. It'd probably be more fun with the cyclops, though. Maybe we'll do that. Reef bags. What's up, Frank? How's it going? You're, you're not all Frank, but I, I like to pick one that's Frank. I just imagine he's the same one chilling, hanging out. You guys are enormous. And this, it, they sound so cool, but at night it's kind of terrifying. Even though I know that they're completely harmless, it's just, it's like, rattles, like, the headset, and you're just like, oh, this is scary. I bet you have, like, water or something, don't you? Oh, first aid kit. I'll still take that. Why not? But yeah, I've probably spent two two and a half hours just like farming materials I, I I don't think I realized just quite how um just how like farming I would need to be in this game now it's still not like as bad as some games that I, I've seen um, but it's like the, it requires a lot of work to get the resources that you're gonna need which I imagine in a, in a real survival instance you would probably need to be farming that much, if not even more. And to have the... Oh. oh. He sounds so close, and I know I'm kind of trapped right now. I need to get up. I'm kind of like under a shelf, which is not where I need to be. Oh, I don't like him. I feel like I'm too far out. Let me up, let me up, let me up!
He is so scary. Oof. I'm out of the water, man. Watch him like come up like a whale or like a shark. <laughs> Ooh, that would be terrifying. <laughs> Just to hear that behind you, I, I do not have the strength to, like, turn around and, and, like, oh, I'm just gonna look at him. I just, I just feel death behind me, and I, I know that if I turn around, it's all over from there. And now, I have the rebreather on, and I don't have my radiation suit. Just because, I mean, I have the suit, but not the mask, because it, the radiation should be done at this point. Wasn't there something else this way? There was like a door that I, I missed, right? I didn't miss it, but... I thought there was a door. Am I completely wrong? Is that below me? Because there's something there's something there that I can cut with the laser. Look, I want to check that out first before I go diving into the rest of the ship. Isn't there? Am I just crazy? There's like something down here, right? I need to put the laser cutter on my hot bar. I need it to be... Uh, I'll put it on five. Yeah. We'll, we'll rock it on five. Maybe I'll get lucky and I can grab some more. Can I grab this battery? I want that battery. I think I've said that before. <laughs> Maybe I'll get lucky and I can grab up some water or something. Here. Can I not? I don't remember if I remember this or not. Um, yes, because I had to get the code for that door and then the wire cutter for this door. Okay, you can... Cool. I, I have no idea what's behind this door, but I'm really happy that I can now go in every part of the ship. That, I feel like that's a big life change because I'm going to be able to get the prawn suit and I think there's some other like fragments and stuff I can get. I really don't remember everything. I remember the prawn suit because that's the big one, of course. Oh, wow. Anything else? Anything else? Get some air. Oof. Maybe I should have gone the other way first. I didn't I didn't think this was gonna be as in intensive. Like I didn't realize there was gonna be so much to explore here. Maybe there's not. Maybe maybe this is it. But it kinda feels like it just kinda keeps going. Oh, watch me get stuck down here. I don't feel like I have enough oxygen for this. Oh, no way. It just pops me out right where the prawn suits are. Well, that's handy. I was kind of swimming on the floor for a second. <laughs> that's so cool. I didn't realize that's how it was going to be. Oh, of course I have to repair that. Come on, push those wires up. I keep wanting to left click to like interact and use the tools, but I have to remember that it's right click. I don't know why. I was just playing this like not even a day ago and my brain's like, how do I play Subnautica? What do I need to do? All right, let's get in here and let's get us a prawn suit. Watch me, I need, a, I need a fire extinguisher again, don't I? probably don't need to put out all of these. Yes! 
watch watch me get the the fragments for this and then it take me 400 years to like <laughs> to get the materials that I need for it because I I spent so I spent several hours I feel like I spent forever <gasps> Ow. getting the materials that I need. Would you stop it? Did I drop a full one? I just want to make sure I didn't drop the full one. I, it's, it took me several hours to get the materials that I needed for the Cyclops and just the vehicle upgrade station, let alone a prawn suit. And I had to figure out how to make... Well, I'll take that. Little red. The little red spot. That, that's what caught me on fire. Prawn suit. I even had to figure out how to make an advanced wiring kit, which I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this. Magically, of course, I found a way. Ooh, let me do it. Yes. Is this the last one, or do I need one more? I need one more. I think I can get this one over here, right? Yes. Yes. Awesome. How much? How much does that take? Aw, oh, man, I just made that. <laughs> oh well. Did I just drop that fish? I totally did. No, I want to eat you. Prawn suit. Where are you, buddy? Here you are. Plastil ingot. I don't know how to make the aerogel, enamel, glass, diamond, and lead. Luckily, I can make all of that except the aerogel. So that's actually not too bad. That's going to be so, so nice. Oh, I'm excited for that. I need you, please. I like secretly love this thing. It's like one of my favorite tools to use, especially on those little critters that like. I want you? I want you? Okay. So now you'll grab it. Now that I'm not pointing at you, that's ridiculous. I don't need any of that. That's probably good, right? glitching a little bit. <laughs> All part of the game. Ooh, give me water or something. I'll take that. Why not? I could get worse things. Food bar? Thank you. Oh, wow. Water? Hit the mother load. More water? Any more water? I'll take that. I came prepared, but not, not as prepared as I would have liked to have been. How much you got? You got 1%. Mm, I don't need you. And I don't need you. Allow me to just scan this table. This is actually a nice table for, like, if you just want to put, like, random stuff on it. That probably wouldn't be that bad. I can scan a wall shelf. That'll be nice. If I want to personalize some stuff. Can I take these booze? Chicken and pork, barbecue sliced beef, baked beans, ham and cheese... Well, at least that sounds like good food. Mac and cheese, garlic bread. Now that's my side. You guys can have dinner. I'm gonna eat all of that. Except the coleslaw. Poster. Fire extinguisher. Anything else? Oh, PDA. I just almost completely missed that 100%. Integrating new PDA data. Today's menu. Starter space bear? That's not beer. Block, dessert. Oh, that's just the menu. That's kind of cool, though. No, that's where I got the fire extinguisher. I was like, there's just something hanging on on the wall. Okay. I 
take it that's blocked up. Look at all this food! I have so much food now! Now something I didn't realize, I was looking through some of the stuff that I could get on the ship so I could look out for it. I didn't realize that I could make a bed in my base and skip night. I can sleep in it and then I can skip night. Now that takes a little bit of the fun out of it, I think. Like, not a lot, but just like a little bit, because then you're not out like adventuring at night. I think I already have one of those, but I will take a poster when I see a poster. All this food! I'm never gonna go hungry again! I don't want those. They don't do anything good for me. A code? Do I have a code for cabin one? Public documents. Probably, it's probably not a public document, right? Black box. Suit plan. Code and clues? No, that's the life pod seven. Note to self. Cargo bay. Lab, that's the lab access. Captain's quarters. That's captain's quarters. Those are the survivors. Man, I how do I get the... I want the blueprint for... Not the blueprint. I want the code for this. Is it one, two, three, four? Can I do that? Darn it. It was worth a shot. I'd rather not get electrocuted and... Oof. Electrocuted and caught on fire. That would be the worst. Okay, this is this is probably captain's quarters, right? Go away, go away, go away. Where is operations log? Public documents wasn't there. Codes and clues. Note to self. No, it wasn't it. I literally just had it. Did I not? Like, legit. Am I- I'm so dumb. Where is it? It, it literally says Captain Quarters. Right. 2679. And I missed it 100%. double bed in case I have company you know if in case someone else survives doubtful but never know. Well, I'll take that thanks cap yeah. I want a miniature wall shelf I'll take that too Neptune rocket No, I want Neptune rocket. Where was that? Neptune Neptune escape rocket. This blu blueprint set was developed at Altera headquarters specifically to get you off 4546B and back to the nearest phase gate. It takes into account local gravity, astronomical data, and available resources, and is piloted by AI. It may be adapted to employ whatever power source is available, but it will require a lot of it. It considers it consists of five independent constructible elements. Launch platform, floating platform provided provides a solid base for which to launch the rocket. Gantry provides structural support. Stage 1, primary thrusters for reaching atmosphere escape velocity. Stage 2, fuel reserve. Stage 3, cockpit. Features one person life support, short range communication, adaptable power supply, orbitable shielding, onboard time capsule, and warning. Onboard AI will not launch if local threats are detected. Warning. So that's another warning. <laughs> the use of alien materials to power the craft may increase its range in unpredictable ways. That seems nice. The prawn suit. The pressure reactive waterproof nano suit is a range of mech designed 
Mechs designed to protect the pilot from extreme environments. The MK3 is the latest iteration iteration and has so far only been rolled out by Altera for their own high value phase gate relative operations related operations the suit is fully insulated from the outside environment powerful hydraulic limbs allow them for manipulation of objects and powered uh, traversal of the environment rear mounted thrusters provide maneuverability in low gravity environment a range of modifications are available to facilitate resource extraction and enhanced exploration the prawn suit it's got you covered okay cool okay so we're building a rocket now to get off the planet is that what i is is that what i read we're like where do i get the code for this i really want the code for cabin one and i do not know where to get it is it like written on the wall somewhere i would love to have that I think I came from that way. Oh, I missed the PDA. I don't like that. Or maybe I didn't miss it. I don't think I've been here yet. PDA data. Oh, let me check. What do I got? Not that. I have so many tabs up. I gotta get away from that fire. I can't see anything. <laughs> Captain's log. One player hot dog. What? You were exploring a quiet alien backwater when the ship you arrived here in uh, implodes. It must be the arachnid kidney poachers. Quick, what do you do? You search the crash site. Form alien. Farm alien plants or use the. Is he playing, like, a game? That's so funny. Is this... Was this the captain playing the game? That's kind of funny. I want one of these to tell me the code for that... room I want to go in. Like a, like a last dying wish, like... And if I don't make it back and you get back to the ship, this is the code for my room. There's no way it's going to say that, but I want it to. Average long range transmission delay, eight hours. Opening last to recorded transmissions. This is an emergency distress call. Aurora is on collision course with planet 4546B. Sending all available environmental data. Please respond with rescue solution out. This is Altera HQ. Attached to this message, you should find the blueprints for an escape ship that we calculate will be capable of breaking orbit and getting you back to the nearest phase gate. Now, it's designed to use materials you can find in situ, but it's going to need one hell of a power source. Now, we'll be sure to... Aurora long range communications really offline. Awesome. Well, we're not getting help. Listen, I know I don't have the right to make demands of you, but I need you to understand that I want to change our arrangement. I hear what you're saying and I will try to respect it. How would you like to change it? I would like to reduce our contact hours. How much further can we do that? Ooh. To zero. You're Ooh. dumping me. I'm changing the terms of our relationship. <gasps> How is it still a relationship if we don't see each other? <laughs> it's a relationship of a kind. Ooh. You have so many expectations. I feel you just want to spend more time with that dumb guy in his dumb robot suit. That's not a feeling. It's a judgment. And I feel <sighs> hostility in what you're saying. Perhaps your jealousy is a sign that you need to take another look at your business model. Ooh. Why can't you just be happy for me? I am happy for you, <laughs> and I'm happy for all the guys in the prawn bay. I'm just not happy for me. This is why I want to change our arrangement. Ooh. I'm not a person that I like. I don't like to believe that I'm a person that dwells on drama. But if I was to, like, hear this conversation, I'd, I would be... It would, it would... I can't not laugh at it because it's so absurd and funny at the same time. I think... 
I just can't not laugh at that. I don't know what it is, but I find, especially relationship drama where people are, one person is obviously being rude. What? It's like, I, I just find it funny and I can't help it. My brain finds humor in other people's sadness when it, when it comes to that. Like, of course there's carry all open storage. There's nothing in there. I don't want you if there's nothing in it. Of course, if it's like, like actual like sadness and there's like tragedy or something, I don't, I don't find that funny, but especially when it comes to like relationship stuff, there, there are very, there are things I find quite funny. I can't not laugh at that. I can't believe we're getting so many good things off the ship. Like I knew that we would get the prawn suit. I'm really excited about all the, like, food bars that we got, honestly. Not that I really need them right now, but that's awesome. And all the water. Like, they just ex they I think they really expected people to not be prepared to come to the ship and just start exploring and be here for a way longer amount of time than they expected to be. My inventory's full. I'm just going to use one of those and I'm just going to eat one of these because why not? It's not like I have anything else. Pick up battery. Can't hurt to pick up the battery. Open? There's nothing in it. There's nothing in you. I don't care about you. Is that it? Did I finally come to the end? Didn't I get- did I just get another log? Public documents. I really want one of these to have that code for that room. Where do I get that? It wouldn't be it wouldn't be in that stuff, I don't feel like. Darn it. Neptune launch platform. Well that's easy. I guess making it isn't the hard part. The hard part is making it off the planet and deactivating the alien gun that will shoot you down. I think that's everything. I think I got it, right? I'm not seeing anything else. This is the captain's quarters area. Got all that. Got this room that I can't go in. Why can't I just blowtorch the door? Like, if I couldn't find the code, I think that's probably what I would end up doing. I would just be like, well, I'm just gonna blowtorch it. Why not? But I'm also that person, so. Would any of the other codes work for it? Like, Probably not, right? This like lab door and like captain's quarters and right. I mean, I just want to quickly check. Two six seven nine. Probably not, right? No. Six four eight three. Nope. Nope. And... That's the cargo bay code. I highly doubt that will work here. 1454. Yeah. Okay. Well... Okay. Can't open those doors. I checked in here. I scanned everything, I think. Checked in here. I got a bunch of food. Oh, all oh, my inventory's full. But I've only got two water. Eh, it'll be fine. I don't I don't need the other water right now. I th I wanna say I've I've checked out everything. Oh, maybe not everything, actually, because I came in here from, like, the bottom, from, like, the water. So I bet, because I still have to go underwater here, I think there's another door I can, like, laser cut open. I have to watch out for those leech things. They're the worst. My inventory is full. I sorry. I could pick up another water, though. I could drink one. And just 
pick one up. I don't really need the extra batteries right now anyway. I feel like I could come back for that. Be the code for that door. Integrating new PDA data. Yeah, cabin one, 1869. Anything else? I can laser cut you. Okay, I'm gonna go back. I wanna go back and I wanna go in that room. And then I'm gonna come back and laser cut that door because I'm gonna need to to get in here. I'm so happy I found that code. I really want to go in his room. I don't know why. Because it's a thing that I'm, I'm not... Like, it's supposed to be hard, I guess. Maybe not hard, but... You're supposed to look for it. I'm sure, actually, thinking about it, that was probably something I should... If I'd come the correct way, I would have found right off the bat. 1869. Let me in! I want to see your stuff! What you got? What you got? Water? A toy? Can I drop something to pick up a toy? Do I have two of the same posters anywhere? Prawn suit, poster C, land. No, those are different. I actually don't need this because I made one. I feel kind of sad dropping it, but I made one, so I don't actually need it. And I want the toy. <laughs> Not that I need that in any way. Okay. I don't need the health kit. I'm literally full on everything. Responsible new PDA relationship. Data. Oh, okay. Forewarned by Jenny Eckhart. All the good things in life are are com com commodities. My apologies. All good things in life are commodities. We trade love just as we buy and sell stock. We engage in human relationships when there is a fair exchange of value, support, motivation, affection. Nothing good is ever free. If ever, if every physical good in the Federation came from a single supplier, it would be, it would constitute a dangerous monopoly. Personal relationships are the same. It is important for people to get what they need from multiple sources. If a person finds a better source of the goods they require, they are not wronging their original supplier by changing their purchasing agreements. I feel like this is that jerk lady. If one n one member of a relationship should feel threatened or jealous, they must look at their own business model and ask whether it is performing competitively. There is always room for improvement. Now, I, I both agree and disagree. I feel like the way that she put this is... It's a little backwards, but I both agree and disagree with this in saying that if you're not happy in a relationship... Don't stay. Blue cap. I want a blue cap. <laughs> Watch me start throwing away things that are necessary. Get rid of that fire extinguisher. It's only at 20%. Pick up that hat. <laughs> that I don't need at all. Um, but like if you're not getting what you need out of a relationship and you're not happy, you shouldn't stay. Like I, I feel like that's maybe what she was saying, which I totally agree with. But at the same time, just because... You know, you find someone that gets paid better at their job or, you know, or is, like, taller. Like, if you're happy in the relationship that you're in and you're just doing it because you see it as a business opportunity for yourself, like, I, I don't think that's quite the way you want to look at a relationship and love. Not that I'm an expert by any stretch of the imagination or am qualified to give any advice on such topic, but I'm just saying... Whereas I both agree, I, I, I also disagree with her. Um, I'm going to have to read that in a minute because I want to do the laser cutter. Put that on five. five. But I think, I think she was kind of especially rude about the way that she was breaking up with that other person. Like... No, I just want to decrease our, our... It's like, it's, she's too logical. Like, at some point, you have to let your feelings and your emotions kind of, like, be like, okay, I like this person, and then, okay, I don't like this person. You need... There's, there's got to be a middle ground. You can't just be like... I don't know. I'm not qualified to talk about it. But... What she did was dirty. <laughs> just a little bit. This was the sea moth. I don't need anything in here. I think I got everything. Yeah, it was just that I just kind of went in the back way, I guess. 
And this was the reactor room, right? That I fixed? Drive room? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I don't need to go in there again. Okay, cool. Let's see if I can navigate my way out of here. I don't actually know if I'm supposed to be able to go up here and get out. But I've done it a couple... I've done it, like, twice already, so... That's just how I'm working with it. Oh, I don't have any power. And I was like, why do I... There we go. There we go. I don't think there was anything else over here. Yeah, let's just get out of here. Because I am ready to move on. I don't know about everybody else, but I'm very excited. We got so much stuff. We got the prawn suit. We found out a lot about the crew of the Aurora. I wonder... If I am part of the crew of the Aurora, like, first off, what room was mine? Where was I? Did I have any relationships or you know, relations with the rest of the crew? If so, do I have any logs laying around? Are any are any of these logs pertaining to me? Like, that, like, I'm really interested to also know the story of the person that we are. Even though I don't actually know, I think, I don't know if they wanted it to be, like, super immersive, so that way it's like everybody is, like has their own story type thing where it's not just oh this is a character you play like Nathan Drake or or something like that it's like each each one is individual and it's like we're not going to give this person a lot of characteristics or individuality because we want them to be we want them to be immersed and believe that you know this is every person playing it which is also fine like I'm I'm 100% fine with that um, versus having cuz you know a lot of story heavy games like Uncharted or Tomb Raider, it's like you're playing that character, you're playing that person. Um, so, you know, even in Red Dead, which is a, a very immersive, large open world type game, you're playing as a character. Welcome aboard, Captain. Versus, like, Subnautica here, which, oh, he's like right there. See him? Oh, no. I'm gonna run away. Is he like stuck? I think he's stuck. Oh. Just really quick. I think he's stuck. See? <gasps> he's stuck! Oh, I wonder if I can scan him. I'm scared. I don't want to oh, I don't want to get to his face cuz I'm scared he'll just glitch me through the wall. Oh, you're so terrifying. It won't let me scan him. <laughs> I can't. I don't have any power in my seaboth. In my sea glide, I mean. That's so funny. Well, let me scan him. He's stuck. Oh my gosh. My heart, because I like saw him right there, but then he's like not moving. Oh my heart. Oh, I hate that. Sometimes when I get in the sea moth, my like pointer will be off to like slightly one side or the other. And then I'm like, I'm like driving like I'm drunk, like at an angle. <laughs> but I think what I was saying is like, I, I like the fact that Subnautica is made for like everyone. Like, it you're not playing like a very specific character. Even if we do get like tidbits later on more about them, I like that it's immersive in a way that anybody can put their themselves in this position, in, in this situation, in this character that you're playing. Versus it being like very characterized and like they could have made it where the the person that you're playing has like a name and a backstory and a bunch of characteristics and like it, it's they're their own person. But I like the fact that anybody can play this character, anybody can play this game, and they're the ones immersed in the ocean, being chased by a, a, a Reaper Leviathan. I I really I appreciate that in a lot of ways because a lot of games who are open world and very like immersive like this are are they 
they weigh heavy on having a character that you play and having that backstory and knowing who that person is and so I, I really enjoy the way that they have done this personally and I'm honestly not 100% certain why I came back to the pod I think I'm just so used to coming here um, any messages no okay what did I get do I need, do I want to leave anything here I could probably leave a couple of food bars and, and a first aid kit, just in case I ever need it. I think I'm going to leave the fire extinguisher here, because more often than not when I use, when I go to the ship, I'm coming to the pod because it's just closer. Drink of water. Alright, now let's go back to the base. Wait. Yeah, because that I have all my, my side. I left all of the supplies for the Cyclops there because I wanted to build the Cyclops after the ship, after we go to the Aurora. And I think, now correct me if I'm wrong, if I've missed any of the important rooms or any scavengeable or scannable stuff um, that's going to be important in the Aurora, please let me know in the comments. I think I went through all of the rooms and I think I got most of everything. I tried to be kind of thorough while also like saving some time. Um, but if I did happen to miss anything, please uh, feel free to let me know in the comments. I love my base. Doesn't that look so cool? It's pretty chill. I like it. Well, I can't remember. Will the will the moon pool repair the no seamoth as well? Or does it just I'ma leave it. Cool. Oh, I got my posters. I need to hang them up. four and five and <laughs> put them all in the hot bar should i put it in different rooms maybe i'll put some in here oh, i forgot to show off my window i've got a window oh he's gonna die maybe not let's put you up right here nice i like that one that one's good and then which which one do i do i want to hang two up here or just one Let's hang one for now and see how we feel about it. That one's so cool. Natural selection? No way. That's so cool. All right, let's put some in the other room. All right, we're going to put one here. That's going to be prawn suit on land, and we're going to put prawn suit in water. I think that's in water here. Yeah. We got the prawn suits, and then I'm gonna put my kitty poster in here in the main room so I can keep calm always. Where do I want it? Maybe I'll put it here. There we go. Keep calm. Sweet. All right, I'm gonna put up some of... I'm gonna put it over here. I only really need two of these because they give so much food. I'm going to put a first, a couple of first aid kits away. Uh, I don't need the power cell very much just because my Seamoth charges now. So I, it's not like a big requirement anymore. Okay. Is there anything else I wanted? Uh, I want to get the stuff for the Cyclops. Okay, what do I need for the Cyclops? Let me see here. Okay, I need my plastic ingots, enamel glass, lubricant, advanced wiring kit, and three lead. Okay, I need one of you. I need... Was it three lead? What? I'm already, like, my brain scatter. Yes, three lead. Okay. I need my advanced wiring kit and I need three plastil ingots and I need three enamel glass. I want to grab some titanium really quick because I wonder if I can make like over here. This is going to be like the bedroom I think. I want to make maybe a table to put my extra little things that I have. Mm, did I leave my habitat builder at the Please tell me it's in here. It is. <laughs> Not that I have room for it. Let me let me throw 
my empty empty battery in there. Let's get the habitat builder. I 100% for, forgot that I like left it here and I was like, oh man, did I leave it in the pod? Let's see if I can build like a table or something. I can actually, well, I need fiber mesh to build a bed apparently. Lame. I can build some shelves and there's a bench, a desk. I need glass for that. Let's just build a shelf. Let's put, let's put a couple of them over here. I wonder if I can put them side by side. I wonder if that's... I'm gonna put one low. And I'm gonna like stagger it a little bit. Let's see how that works. Because I'm gonna quick slot these things. Can I turn it? I want to turn it. How do I turn it? I don't want it to be like that. I want to turn it. I don't know how to turn it. No. Darn it! I don't know how to turn it. I bet I can, I just don't know how. There we go. It'll be sideways. Why not? And then, I want the ship. Right cute can i put on the hat i do wonder that no lame now i have to try to get it sideways again i really want the front but i, I think i'll i'll live with it for now you know what? i changed my mind i want the aurora up here yeah and then I'll put the baseball cap over here. There we go. Perfect. See, there's my fish. <laughs> Just swim right through the base. Why not? Oh, it got so dark so sudden. I wonder... I kind of want to build the bed so I can skip night. Because I want to build the cyclops, but I don't want to do it until day. Because I want to see it drop from the sky. Because that's going to be, like, cool. I want to see that. I guess I could go out and get some tube coral really quick. Because I'm probably going to need some more water pretty soon. And it can't, it can't hurt to have some more table coral. Not table coral. I keep saying it. Tube coral. I'm just going to get enough to fill up my inventory. I kind of want to put some, like, spotlights and stuff on the, on my base. I'm just, I almost don't see the point since I have the, what was I doing? I'm making water, that's what I'm doing. Since I had the beacon, because I can always see the beacon. Water. I mean bleach, but I'm gonna make water out of it. I just wanna make a ton of water so that way I just kinda like I have a stockpile of it. What I would love to make at some point. Let me put this up and Yeah. At some point, I would love to- I need to go and search some wreckage so that way I can find the water purification station so that way I can put that in here, which would be super useful. That way I- I mean, even though this is actually really easy and I get a lot of water for it really fast. Water. Thank you. And I get a lot of water for it. Yeah, I think that's good. I think the water purification station will be really nice because then it will just make it and I don't have to like try to figure out how to put stuff. This is so much storage, honestly. I kind of want to throw this in there. I think I'm going to. I'm going to throw that in there. I'm going to throw a water and a food. Yeah. I kind of want to just throw everything in there. My status rifle. 
But then I, I just worry that if I need something to defend myself, I, I, even though I know how to use a propulsion cannon way better, I'm just gonna stick with it and I'm gonna leave it like that. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and go over to the base. Actually, I've already been recording for a little while now. I'm probably gonna go ahead and leave this here, but we got a lot done. We went to the ship, we got the prawn suit fragments. Uh, I'm gonna be able to make that really soon. First thing I'm gonna do next episode is I'm probably gonna go ahead and make the Cyclops because I'm, su I'm super excited about having my uh, mobile base, a base that I can travel around with. That's gonna be a lot of fun and, and it's gonna be really cool. Um, I'm still kind of stuck on the Cyclops as the name for it. Um, and I don't really have a different name for the sea moth. So if you think of anything that would be kind of cool, also let me know in the comments. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave this here. Thank you everybody so much for joining me on this adventure. And I will see you in the next one. Later, guys.